Hello everyone, greetings to you all in Jesus' name. So happy to be back with all of you through this program. Now I want to take this moment to welcome all of you to this new episode of Creation to Creator. Let's take a moment and pray that the next few minutes that we spend together will be a blessing for every one of our lives. Father God, we want to just come to your awesome presence. We want to acknowledge that you are the sovereign God, you are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. Lord, we want to acknowledge that there is no other God like you, O God. So we just want to come to your presence and worship you. We want to just hear from you, O God, the words that just comes from your mouth, the promises that comes from you, that just that will just strengthen us, O God. Thank you again for this wonderful time. We pray that the next few minutes will be a blessing to every one of us, O God. Strengthen us, comfort us, heal us, O God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We want to start off with a very old song and after that Rena and I want to share a few thoughts about spiritual barrenness. If you know the song please sing with me. Tande Maturia Meridum Nama Mother 
സ്തുതി ഗീതങ്ങൾ പാടിടും ഞാൻ തൻ്റെ മാധുര്യമേറിടും നാമമത സ്തുതി ഗീതങ്ങൾ പാടിടും ഞാൻ എന്നെ ശുവിൻ സന്നിധി എന്നും ഗീതങ്ങൾ പാടിടും ഞാൻ എന്നെ ശുവിൻ സന്നിധി എന്നും ഗീതങ്ങൾ പാടിടും ഞാൻ you know spiritual barrenness is a condition that is literally sweeping across the christian world these days we are not claiming that we are immune to it or excluded from it so we thought we will talk about it and pray together that god will heal all of us completely from it if you have not experienced the spiritual barrenness yet may god protect your heart and mind from reaching there we normally hear this term barrenness connected with husband and wife the state of having no children or being unable to have children infertility sterility the state of being unable to produce offspring in a woman it is an inability to conceive in a man it is an inability to impregnate this is a medical condition i have heard multiple testimonies of couples who got delivered from that state miraculously but i also know couples who still go through that season i want to encourage you to continue to trust god believe that there is nothing impossible for god barrenness also have other very applicable meanings relating to our daily lives it also means the state of yielding nothing of value or meaningful when you bring this to spiritual barrenness all of this is applicable not being able to give birth to a spiritual child not being able to have no value for the kingdom of god a state of contentment of where we are in christian life no motivation to grow no motivation for being useful so many things can get to get get us to that spot in spiritual life mostly it is the lack of personal and intimate relationship with jesus many times the traditions that we follow without even knowing what and why we follow will become the biggest hindrance in loving god personally it can be the lack of prayer life and spending time with god it can also happen because of our focus on doing religion what i mean by that it is we become so busy with things that happen cooperatively and we miss our personal time with god world around us will see us being busy and appreciate us but inside we may be truly barren so we as we spend time together i am praying that god will help us to identify the symptoms and root cause of the spiritual barrenness in our life here are some questions that we can consider am i able to share gospel and bring more people to christ am i able to pray for the lost souls am i able to Yeah, I am avail- am I av- available and feeling excited about what God wants me to do am I eagerly waiting for the revelation and timing of God about my purpose and destiny we will discuss more about this and pray for God to help each one of us to be healed and delivered if we are spiritually barren the next song is a beautiful and blessed song that reminds us about the love and care of God in our life The song is written and tuned by Sister Susan Shaji. Let's listen and be blessed. ഞാൻ നീ എന്നെ സ്നേഹിപ്പ 
Hope you all have been blessed so far. Last week we briefly shared with you from John chapter 15 where Jesus made it very clear that he is the vine and we as branches 
can only experience fruitfulness through abiding in Christ. As we already heard, barrenness is a problem, both physical and spiritual. There are many incidents in the Bible where we read about several women in the Bible who were barren but later conceived miraculously. Their barrenness was treated by the intervention of God himself. Today, our focus is about spiritual barrenness, which is a very common condition in Christians. And if it is identified, it is treatable. It all starts when we lack the excitement we once had in our relationship with God. Too often, we let our own pride, success, comfort, our desires, etc., etc., get in the way of accomplishing God's will. God wants us to have spiritual offsprings and to make disciples. As I was meditating on this uh, topic, Genesis 30, chapter 1 caught my attention. There, Rachel saw that she was not bearing Jacob any children. She became jealous of her sister who had children. So this is what she said to Jacob, give me children or I will die. That sounds like harsh. Jacob was helpless in the situation, but I paused there for a minute and sincerely wished, what if I had such a burden to birth spiritual babies? Dear ones, we know that there are many lost souls around us, but how do we respond to the um, commission given to us by God to preach gospel and make disciples? Our God never intended his children to live in a dry or barren condition. Yet, every one of us have found ourselves in that state at some point of our life in, with our, in our journey with God. When we have access to the living water to quench our thirst in our barren state, really what happens is we go in search of so many things in this world to satisfy our flesh and we become spiritually dehydrated. Let me tell you, our God wants to fill the depths of our empty and barren hearts with the living water from above. So we can walk through life being refreshed, filled and empowered with the Spirit at all times. In 2 chapter, 2 Peter chapter 1, it says to make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, mutual affection, and love. Again, in verse 8, we read, For if these things be in you, and you abound or keep growing in it daily, we shall not be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if we lack these qualities, we will remain in spiritual barrenness, and blindness. Today, my prayer for each one of you, including me, is that we will grow in the knowledge of Christ and be able to spiritually thrive and be fruitful and accomplish the work of God in our lives. May God transform the barrenness in our lives to a pasture land full of spiritual fruits and those who comes in contact with us will be able to receive and enjoy. So as we listen to the next song, may God fill our hearts with love and passion for Jesus and his kingdom. This lyrics and music for the next song is by Dr. Blessed Mamina, an anointed servant of God. May this be a blessing in your life. Yeshu ve polis Yeshuve pole karuda arumilla Yeshuve pole yogena arumilla Yeshuve
ഹൃദയം തകർന്നിടുമ്പോ യേശു സമീപസ്ഥൻ മനസ്സു നുറുങ്ങിയിടുമ്പോ യേശു ആശ്വാസകൻ അസാധ്യമെന്നു കരുതിയിടുമ്പോ യേശു രക്ഷാകരൻ യേശു ഇന്നും ജീവിക്കുന്നു യേശു ജീവിക്കുന്നു യേശുവേ പോലെ സ്നേഹിക്കാൻ ആരുന്നില്ല യേശുവേ പോലെ കരുതാ ആരുന്നില്ല യേശുവേ പോലെ യോഗ്യനായി ആരുന്നില്ല യേശുവേ ആരാധന ആരാധന John chapter 7 Jesus stood on the last day the climax of the festival and shouted to the crowds that were going before him anyone who is thirsty may come to me anyone who believes in me may come and drink for the scriptures declare rivers of living water will flow from his heart if we run to Jesus he will give us that living water which will renew and revive us 
This living water will go into us and it will bring to life anything that is dead. Our passion for Christ, our prayer life, our relationship with Jesus. Let's trust God today to heal our spiritual barrenness. Let's ask God to make us productive. Let's ask God to make us passionate. Let's ask God to give us the boldness and strength to keep sharing the gospel. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit, the living water, will come upon us and make us strong. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for giving us this blessed time in your presence, O oh God. Thank you for strengthening our heart through the songs that we heard of Father Lord. And thank you for speaking to us about the spiritual barrenness of God. We pray that you will deliver us. You will heal us, O oh God. Many times our hearts are so stubborn. It has become like a rock that we are insensitive to your presence, O oh God. And we are unable to worship many a times. Lord, we pray that you will change us. You will transform us. You will heal us completely, O oh God. Help us to just find that love back to you, O oh Father Lord. Your love towards us is unchanging. It never changes. And we completely thank you for that, O oh God. And we pray that you will help us these days to just come closer to you and experience that unchanging presence, O oh God, that transforming presence, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you again for this blessed time. Lord, I pray for everyone who is watching. Lord, we pray that you will make every one of their lives a blessed life, O oh God, in every area of their life, O oh God. We pray that you will give them strength and courage and boldness, O oh God. Give them the opportunity to be a witness for you wherever they are, O oh God. And we pray that you will continue to bless them as families, individuals, Lord, every area of their life, oh God, just continue to bless them. And if anyone is going through sickness these days, Lord, we pray for your healing, oh God. We pray for this world in general. Lord, every country is suffering. Lord of people are suffering. There are so much of uh, hate and uh, uh, pain that the people are going through. Lord, we pray that you will send forth your deliverance upon this world, oh God. Thank you again. And we acknowledge that you are the only source of joy, peace, and healing, oh God. So we come to you. We pray that you will help every one of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's it for today. Thank you all again for joining today's program. We will see you again next Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is 6 a.m. India time. Stay blessed.